In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good people, I'm sure you are well. Today it is Thursday. And today we are on day 8. And on day 8, uh, we are praying for employment. Gainful employment. For those of you who are not employed, we pray that God may give you a meaningful employment. Today, today and tomorrow, I want to talk about fasting. And allow me to give you some types of fasts in the Bible. I, I like, I like, uh, I like uh, directing myself to what the word of God says about various issues that we go through. Because with the word of God, and I, uh, I'll say this till Jesus comes back again. With the word of God, you, you'll never get it wrong. We are told that everything will, will end, but the word of God will stand. So allow me to share with you some different kinds, no, different types of fast in the Bible. Number one, it is called the disciples fast. The disciples fast. You may want to read Matthew 17, 21. For deliverance from sin, this fast is for deliverance from sin. It is for addiction to bondage. Uh, I mean, it is for addiction and also bondage. So if we fast, we can break the power of sins and addictions that limit our freedom in Christ. So depending on what you are praying for, fasting for addiction, this is called disciples fast. Very effective. Number two, the Ezra fast. The Ezra fast. Kindly read Ezra chapter 8 verses 21 to 23. What is this fast for? This is for God's help in solving problems and for protection from Satan. So if you are solving a problem, this is the first to exercise. Ezra said that they prayed and fasted and God answered their request. It is called the Ezra fast. Number three, the Samuel fast. The Samuel fast. First Samuel chapter 7 verse number 6. This is a fast that is done for a revival. Now, I was in a certain church sometimes back. And they had told me, please come and talk to us because we want to revive our faith. And so when you are reviving your faith, the best, the best fast that you can do is called the Samuel fast. Samuel called um, people to seek God and to bring the ark back to Jerusalem. If we fast and pray for revival, God will pour himself out on his people for revival. This is a good fast, especially when as a church you are going through Issues of faith. Number four, the Elijah fast. The Elijah fast. Read First Kings chapter 19 verses 4 to 8. This fast is effective and good for mental freedom from emotional problems or habits. If there is a habit you want to break that has crippled your movement in faith and in Christ, the best fast that you can do is Elijah fast. Through fasting, God will show us how to overcome emotional problems and destructive habits. Number five, the widow's fast. The widow's fast. First King 
chapter 17 verses 9 to 16. This is fasting to provide for the needy. Fasting to provide for the needy. And here we are saying, the widow went without food to meet the physical needs of someone else. Especially when as a family or as a church or as an individual, you want to do some charity work. The first you do for the other family to eat something, that is, we can call it a widow's fast. Number six, Paul fast. The fast of Paul uh, recorded in Acts chapter 9, verse 9. This fast is for physical healing, to get direction from God. For physical healing and getting direction from God. And here we say that if we pray and submit our will to God, it will reveal his will to us. Especially when we are physically ailing and we would want God to give us the direction on which to go as we seek for medication. Number seven, the John the Baptist fast. The John the Baptist fast recorded in Luke 1.15. This fast is done to enhance our walk with God and witness. Enhancing our walk with God and witness. Uh, this can, we can do as often as we can. Number eight, it is called the Esther fast. The Esther fast. Um, John the Baptist fast, you can read Luke 1, 15. The Esther fast number eight, you read Esther chapter four, verse 16, and chapter five, verse two. This fast is for protection from the evil one. Especially when you are suffering from attacks. This is the fast. Number nine, the Jesus fast. The Jesus fast. Read Matthew chapter 4 verses 1 and 2. This is for, for spiritual power and victory over temptation, the flesh, and the devil. For spiritual power and victory over temptation, the flesh, and the devil. That is called the Jesus fast. And finally, the one that almost everybody talks about. Almost everybody. All the preachers I have listened to since the world was created, they always talk about the Daniel fast. The Daniel fast. It is the most popular fast. Daniel chapter 1 verses 5 to 21 and chapter 10, verse 3. Now, this fast is done for health and to seek God's favor, God's purpose, and vision for life. Now you know. Which fast do you think you can make? <laughs> you can. We will look at the ways to fast, but that we will do tomorrow. So for now, allow me to bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Thursday. I remain your priest and servant, Father C.K.